going, everybody? Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to remote into a Windows machine from Mac OS. It's super easy to do, so let's just jump right into it. First thing you need to do is you need to grab the Microsoft Remote Desktop tool. You can do that through the App Store. So pop open the App Store and just type in remote. And it should be the first thing that gets recommended to you. It's this one right here. Just download that. And once it's downloaded, go to the computer that you'll be remoting into. In this particular case, it's this machine here. This is my gaming PC. And in order for this whole thing to work, you need to make sure that the computer that you're remoting into is actually allowing remote desktop connections. To do that, click the uh, Windows icon here and just type in remote desktop settings and hit enter. And then what you'll see is this screen here if you're on Windows 11. In Windows 10, it's very similar, slightly different interface, but all the same steps. You see this, it'll be off by default. Toggle it on and make note of your PC name because you'll need this later when you're on your Mac. Once you've done these two steps, go back to your Mac. So from here, what we can do, I'm going to open that Microsoft remote desktop tool I downloaded earlier. And this is actually the machine that I was connected to, but I will connect to a different machine for example purposes. So I'm going to click this plus icon here and select add PC. This PC name field is where you want to input the name. In this case, the computer I'm connecting to is actually called Jumpman. So I'm going to type Jumpman. And you have two options. You can say either ask when required for the sign in information, or you could hit this and select add user account, which I'm going to do. And I'm just going to type in my user credentials. You can also give it a friendly name if you like. I'm just going to click add and everything else is good to go though i will note that if you wanted to click the display settings here you have a few options to use all monitors if you have multiple monitors with your mac um, in this case i don't so i'm just going to say general okay and add and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to right click and connect now when you attempt to connect you're going to see this pop up don't worry this is just saying hey we don't know if we can trust this device, but it's your device. You're setting this up. You're configuring it. Presumably this is in your environment and you have full control. So don't worry about this. If you never want to see this again, click show certificate. And then you can just say something along the lines of here. You can see the trust, always trust, continue. And it's going to always trust that cert. You won't have to deal with that ever again. Okay, so now I've remoted into the machine successfully. This is all on my Mac. And if I three finger swipe on my MacBook, I can go back between the two. And yeah, it's looking pretty good as far as I'm concerned, right? The one other thing I will say is because some people struggle with the naming part, they'll put the name in and then nothing comes up, like they can't find the computer for some reason. Another thing you can do is on the computer that you're attempting to remote into, open up CMD, okay? And once this opens up, then what you can do is you can type IP config and this is going to return your IPv4 address here, okay? So this is helpful because let's say you type the name into the computer and it can't connect for some reason, you get an error. If you put the IP address in, there's a good chance that, that will work. I've had a lot of success with that in the past where, oh, for whatever reason, it can't find the host name, but you put the IP in, it's in, no problem, okay? So give that a go if that doesn't work. Otherwise, let me know in the comments what you're up against. I'm curious, and hopefully this video helped you. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know what I can do better in the future, and I will see you guys in the next one, if I'm lucky. Take care.